Welcome to Exometric Trick number 695. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Exometric 686 to 697. Hey, in this trick here, uh, Mel Doc at the Mr. Excel message board found an error in YouTubers Love Excel video number one. Here's the setup in that video. We had a cost of $55. We had three attendees. And we wanted to assign or allocate this cost across um, attendees or any category. We're, we're taking a total cost and allocating it across number of categories. The problem is if you just take uh, 1833, which is 55 divided by 3, and, and uh, put it all three times, there's an extra penny. We really need 34 here. So we want to do this with a formula. Now I did a little formula here. And uh, you know many numbers work. 45, uh, 25.75. So those all work. But some numbers don't. If we try 42.5, what? The total down here, the formula down here, uh, sometimes would not calculate correctly. It would be off a few pennies. And that's the whole point of this formula, is to not be off by a few pennies. All right, um, Mike Rickson at this post right here, uh, Mr. Excel message board, came up with a great formula. And uh, here's how it works. Let's uh, take this amount here, and we'll divide it by 7. So we get 62.338, so it's 3, 4. So if we did 62.34, and added them all up, we would get, oops, we're a penny off. And we're not allowed to do that. This needs to be a different amount. In addition, we want it to be automatic. So we really want to be able to do this with formulas. All right, so let's um, look at this formula. Equals, now the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take um, that amount right there, I'm going to lock it, because as we go down, we need to always be looking at the total cost. And we're going to subtract something from it. Now think about this. If we had a, a, just a whole column of 62.34s here, when I got down to this row right here, if I could take the original cost and subtract from it all the previous amounts, that would give me the remaining amount to allocate. Well, in this case, I'd I need to divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's what our formula is going to do. It's going to take the original amount, subtract the all the cells from above. In this case, we're going to take a blank, and that cell needs to remain blank, or at least have no numbers. And we're going to have an expandable range. Now, expandable means we put our, our cursor and then use the F4 key to lock it going down. That means C20 will remain locked, but not this one. Let's just see what this does. And we're going to have an expandable range. In just a moment, we're going to have a contractible range. So, so all we're seeing here is when we double click it, because the rest of the formula will take care of those zeros, we can see the expandable range. Totally beautiful. Now, what do we do with this? We're going to put it in parentheses, and we need to divide by a different number each time as we go down. Now, here we need 7, then we need 6, that, uh, then we need 5, 4, etc. What we're going to divide by in here, we're going to use the rows function. Now, if you watch um, this channel here a lot, we always use this to increment numbers up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But what about 7, 6, 5, 4? No problem. Highlight the entire range, close parenthesis, and lock the last cell. Now we have a, um, a range that's going to be reduced in size as we copy it, copy it down. Control Enter. Copy it down. Well, look at that. It sure looks like it works. Let's look at this. When Right here, it's taking this, subtracting all the previously calculated amounts by this expandable range, dividing it by the rows. Now, you can see the kind of the purple right here. It's not including these up here. So this one's um, getting smaller. This one's getting bigger. Now, we still need to do one last thing. We need to round, because we need it to the penny comma 2. Um, I do that always when I do the, the tab to enter it. And there was a parentheses already. And when you hit tab, the round just takes that parentheses. So it actually needed that a second one. Control-Enter. 
And sure enough, now, look at that. It got it just right. One formula all the way down. Now, you know, if you have this one or two times, who cares? You do it by hand. But if you're an accountant and you're doing this kind of thing all the time, boy, does this help. Let's go ahead and put a rand function up here, randomizing function. And uh, I'm going to hit the F9 and we're going to test it. So there's a new number. It looks like it's working. And let's uh, make sure. I'm going to say equals. We're going to do a logical formula. Is that equal to this? Because and if you're an accountant, you ha you're doing this in Excel, you know, you want that there. True. So as soon as you get something that where this this total of all the allocated amounts does not equal the original amount, you need to know. So I'm going to hit the F9 key to randomize. It looks like it's working. And you can see sometimes it gets a two, a one, but all the pennies are exactly correct. This equals that. F9, 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 all you want, and sure enough. It will work. All right. Um, thanks, uh, Mel Doc and Mike Rickson. Totally awesome formula. We'll see you next trick.